Hey team, this is teacher Randall at Aim High Martial Arts and we're gonna go over that technique of the week. And we are gonna be going over the technique with our boxing, making sure that we're pivoting and twisting, making sure that our wrists are nice and straight, just working on those details. All right team, let's go ahead and put our hands up just like this. You're gonna go ahead and put your thumbs up and say, hey, good Bonds impression. Go ahead and put those thumbs right on top of the knuckles. We don't want them on the inside because if we do throw a punch, we will crush our thumb. We don't wanna do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put our turtle shells up we're gonna make sure that our front arm is in front of our shoulder and our back is right by our jaw. We wanna go ahead and bend our knees. Make sure that your foot is off to the side. If it's right behind the other foot, we're gonna be wobbling and we're not gonna have good balance. Off to the side, knees bent, hands up. We're gonna go ahead and bring that, that heel up off the floor. We're gonna twist and jab. Make sure that you're looking through those two mountain tops right there. Those two front knuckles are gonna go right on the target. Then we're gonna go back to the face, putting the heel down. Now we're gonna do the back foot. So we're gonna twist and cross, making sure that heel is up off the floor. We don't wanna over rotate, because that's, like that's gonna knock off our balance. We want a nice straight line from the heel all the way out through the two front knuckles, and that's where the power is gonna go. We're gonna bring it back to the face. Now we're gonna do our hook punch. We're gonna take a little step to the side. We're gonna be on the balls of the feet. We're gonna twist and hook, and then we're gonna go ahead and bring it right back to the face. Then we're gonna go ahead and bend our knees for our uppercut, nice. We don't wanna bend too much because that's not gonna help us get up quickly. We're just gonna bend them a little bit. We're going on that ball of the foot again. We're gonna twist, scoop, stand up, eye level. Make sure that we're not going up here. We're keeping it right here, eye level, and back to the face. And we wanna make sure that we're working the other side. So we're just gonna V-step. We wanna go ahead and put the foot. We're gonna put the other foot over to the other side, making sure we have that same type of distance from the other foot that we did on the other side. Same thing, we wanna work both sides so we get good on both sides. So we got those knees bent, hands up, we're gonna twist and jab, and back to the face again. Twist and cross, back to the face. We're bringing that ball to the foot so you can get that power. Twist and hook, and back to the face. Bending the knees, twist, scoop, and stand up, eye level, and back to the face. And make sure that you guys are working on the details. That's the important part. Do we have to twist on everything? No, but we wanna make sure that's in our muscle memory and that we will remember to do it when we need that power. Good job. And parents, if you wanna help with those details where your kids are practicing at home, make sure that when they are throwing their punches that they're not dropping their hands. They're not coming up and down like a choo-choo train. So we wanna make sure we keep those hands right by the side or right by the face so they can have those good details. So as soon as one comes in, comes back to the face back to the face. Also parents, is when they are throwing their punches, making sure that the other hand isn't going way off off the other direction, making sure that they're keeping it right by the face. And another thing is real important, making sure that they keep their wrist nice and straight. They don't wanna extend that, overextend that wrist. They wanna make sure it's nice and straight when they're throwing punches. And another thing, when they're throwing punches, make sure they're not switching feet every time they're throwing their punch. So we wanna make sure that their feet are staying right where they're at and they're staying right in one place. And thank you for tuning in for Technique of the Week, and we will see you next time.